Hi, this is Barry Gerben. I'm here with Corey Fowler. Hi, Corey. Hey, Barry. How's it going today? Good. We're uh, recording a little webcast here from our Object Sharp online live training broadcast studio at our new office, 11 King West in Toronto. And um, we did Azure Fest on the weekend, and uh, Corey and I are now we're just recording a video of uh, some of the demonstrations we did. The first one here is uh, just to set up your account on Azure. And uh, we're going to show another one. If you happen to have an MSDN subscription, right? Yep. It's going to be a little cheaper, or you get some included hours. <clears throat> but for now, we're just going to show the instructions for um, just getting sort of the cheapest basic introductory account. Yeah, it's called the Introductory Special, and uh, we'll just run through. So if you want to navigate over to Windows, uh, sorry, Azure.com. All right. And... <clears throat> There's two ways you can get there. You can either just sign up now, or if you go under the Purchase tab at the top, uh, you can go to Buy Now as well. Oh, we also see the uh, total cost of ownership and some pricing information as well. Yeah, that's okay. uh, very important if you're trying to convince your boss to move to the Azure platform. Okay, great. So let's sign up. And uh, there's a few different offers here. We're going to use the introductory one. Yep, the introductory special. Now what this is going to do is uh, redirect you to live.com so you can sign in. Uh, you absolutely have to have a live account um, and this is directing you to Microsoft Online Services. So this is where most of uh, Microsoft's billing gets redirected through. So if you just fill out the form there, uh, we can get under the way. And there's a couple of terms at the bottom that you have to check off just to let Microsoft know that you know that you're signing up for a monthly service. And this is where you provide a subscription name. So if you want to split between a marketing department and an IT department, uh, this is where you can um, separate those concerns for billing and budgetary means or even like a special or, client yeah. yeah if you if you have uh, or if you're consultant and you have multiple clients you can set up an Azure instance for each client so you can track and maintain them that way okay I'm just gonna call it webcast I think I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit because uh, that might be a little bit easier to read for everybody <coughs> all right and this is your actual billing information so if you just uh, Step through this form, you're going to need to provide some credit card details. Now, your credit card won't get charged unless you exceed the terms of the introductory offer. So what's included in the introductory offer is 25 small compute cycles, 500 megabytes of storage, 10,000 storage transactions, as well as 500 megabytes in and out as data transfer to the servers, and one gigabyte web SQL Azure instance. All right, and you definitely want to read through this end user license agreement. Are you catching all this? Oh yeah, I read like data from Star Trek. All right, so you want to do this? Make sure you read it all, out, print it out. Is there anything nasty or evil in there? Oh, uh, not that I found when I was coming through it. Okay, great. So we had a confirmation number. Do we need to do anything with this? Uh, it's always good to print or and save off the confirmation number just in case you have any issues and need to refer to it for billing purposes. Okay. Well, we're even recording this, so even better. Okay. My subscription is being provisioned. So that's it. I've created my account. Yeah. Anything else I need to do? No. I need to wait 15 minutes, maybe? Is this going to sit here and refresh itself when it's done? It should, yes. All right. Okay, so uh, on our next video, we're going to um, show how you actually then go and deploy um, an MPC application. Yeah, we're going to use the Nerd Dinner application. Okay, great. And uh, we're not going to get into the tools right yet, but we're going to take a, an example of a prepackaged application that we're going to provide a link for you on our blog. We could download the package files and shoot them up there and get the app going very quickly. All right, thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey.